I took 90 days to find balance in my life and I captured these moments so hopefully you could be inspired to soul blaze your life. God, please help me forgive all people. All people forgive me. Help us all forgive ourselves. Thank you, God. Amen. Howard Wills created meditations that lead people into a higher consciousness. I've been doing his daily transformational prayers to get into the mindset and energy of who he is and what he does. I got into spirituality about 20 years ago after devouring the book Out on a Limb by Shirley MacLaine. I was hungry for more insights when a friend invited me to Malibu to see a guru at Shirley MacLaine's house. I was so excited. I remember it was a Sunday morning. I arrived at her amazing Malibu home to meet a man named Howard Wills. He started this process of snapping his fingers and saying things I hadn't heard before. And I didn't understand at the time, but as much as I wanted to be part of this community, I decided to leave. Fast forward to now. I was sharing with a friend about this journey of meeting with a variety of people using different modalities to heal and transform lives. He said, you have to meet Howard Wills. He's the best. And he happens to be in LA this week. So I thought, Howard Wills? I remember that guy. You know what? Let me see my reaction to him this time around. As they say, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. If you fall down, you can get up. And if you get sick, you can get well. If you want to be more effective with your success, your life, your health, everything, we need to learn to simplify, 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 simplify. I help to release the energies that are kind of creating the problems for them in life. And it's done silently, usually, without touching them or saying a word to them. It's like a cleansing. And then when they're cleansed, then they're more filled with light and everything gets better for them in life. Openness is, is very important. If anybody's gonna get anything, mm -hmm. they had to be open to yeah. receive. If you're like this, you're looking like that, and you're thinking the word no, you're not gonna get very much. If you're judging everybody in there like this, you're not gonna get very much. Focusing more on the words like yes, love, and open, then whoever they are, wherever they are, they'll start receiving and, and getting something and learning about consciousness. I'm just a servant on this planet to help whoever wants help mm -hmm. in any way that they can receive it. You know, I'm here to help with that and to help facilitate that in, other, in whatever way it comes. Uh, I have prayers on the internet, on my website. They're called Transformational Concise Prayer Program. And they were written about five years ago because of the need for something short and compact and effective. Well, I would love to do something with you of going to a deeper consciousness. There is a state that we can put you in. And uh, I call it the state of the Buddha. Let's give it to you. Okay. Let's watch her face and see what happens. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here it comes. As I sat there, I just sort of scanned my body to feel what sensations may be coming up. How's that feeling, Lisa? Just a lot of energy surging through my body. How do you feel? Electrified. And how's your mind now? Empty. No, no. thinking? No. No. Mm -hmm. You're connected to the universes mm -hmm. and to the light mm -hmm. with no interference from your mind. Mm -hmm. You like that? I love that. Let's take it higher. Okay. I sat there feeling connected to the universe and the light within with no interference from my mind. Now we're going further. You ready? Yeah. We went through the process several times, and each time I would slip a little deeper into a space of releasing thoughts, judgments, and perceptions. So I got curious. How did he get me in this meditative state so quickly? It usually takes me so much longer. 
What is it that you do? I'm just cleansing your life and your lineage and connecting you to the light. Oh. You ever traveled the universes? Did you? <laughs> yes. How? Ayahuasca. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, you want to try this version? I do. You ready? I'm ready. Watch this. Okay, so I was off with a snap to travel the universe. Only now I was starting to feel loopy. <laughs> Everything is ghost-like. Everything is like it's ethereal. Yeah. Are you in many places at the same yeah, time? Yeah, absolutely, we are. All of us are. And you are. are right I now. I am right now. Yeah. We just don't know it when we're not tapped in. Yeah. Yes. And all the answers are out there. Yeah. And peace. All the knowledge you seek lies within yourself. You alone have the power to unlock all of the answers you could ever need to help you throughout your human journey. Now we're going further. You ready? Yeah. I invited some friends who are interested in spiritual growth with a master teacher. Howard created a safe space with his positive energy and humor, and then called on people who had come in with aches and pains and asked them to walk around. You're super light, right? I feel kind of like whimsical. Yeah. Tell us how you feel in your body. Light. Light. Yeah. Good. My friend Ashley had come in earlier with a migraine. Just what, sis? You still have the migraine? No. No migraine now. No, no. It was fun watching Howard do his thing and watch people respond. I could see how his snapping technique got us out of our heads where we take ourselves so seriously and into a space of joy and laughter. <laughs> give it to me, give it to me. <laughs> How's that? It feels amazing. It feels amazing. Yeah. So the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you think. Now watch this. This is for everybody too. I watched as people who came in with pain were able to walk around pain free. How you feel right now? Pretty much all of it's gone. It's gone, isn't it? This is for you. Now walk. Go ahead. Howard loves to laugh, and he enjoys helping people transcend their self-imposed limitations. He taught us that well-being is a feeling. If you're having negative thoughts, anxiety, or fear, it will manifest somewhere in your body. Daily affirmations or prayers will fill you with positive thinking, and that's something we can all get behind. Love y'all. Love you.